Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. The rumor going around is that the Batgirl movie, which was going to be on HBO Max, which has been shelved indefinitely, uh, is going to have some grave, what they're calling graveyard screenings at Warner Brothers, where people who worked on the project are going to be allowed to see the film before it is forever locked in the vault of nothing i should have done like a nothingness <laughs> david zaslav decided that he would rather take a tax break <laughs> on the 70 to 100 million somewhere between there that they've spent on this project than attempt to allow it to make a profit that's how badly he thought of this project. Now, the funny thing is, you've had some people coming out and crying and complaining on Twitch. Twat, and, uh, well, let's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to dick around in this video. I'm just going to get to the uh, the meat and potatoes of certain matters. It's really, they're, they're just mad because there's certain representations which have now been put on the shelf in this movie. They're not bothered about Batgirl. They're not bothered about Barbara Gordon. They don't give two shits about that. This is the whole thing that we've been getting into in recent years about these properties. The very people that they're pandering to don't give a fuck about them. They just give a toss that their representation or their side is being portrayed in them. And that is it. They don't buy the books. I can almost guarantee you that. They don't buy any merchandise. They don't do any of this nonsense. And if you want some actual indications of that, just look at the recent Ms. Marvel on uh, Disney+. Plus. A viewership of 775,000 people on its first episode, then dropping out of the ratings so we don't even know. Where were you? Where were you? turning up to watch it all the people who claim that this is what you need this is what you want this is the future all this where were you why didn't you turn up and watch because you're a bunch of fucking posers because you don't actually care about these characters at all and i just want to kind of agree with you on that nor should you nor should you care about these characters because the shit Especially in the form of like Ms. Marvel and derivative characters like that, self insert, Sam Amina, all that kind of stuff. Uh, all characters which started off well, but have now been usurped to the cause. And the cause, of course, being the cause of woke. Probably one of the most poisonous things, if not, you know, certainly in my lifetime, one of the most poisonous things to come along. So yeah, don't don't even pretend that you give a shit about Batgirl, you fucking fake ass bitch. All you're mad about is that they they stuck a brown woman on the shelf who was put in a race changed role for it so you know i ain't shedding any tears for that i've got a race changing video coming up as well but one with a happier ending and the fact also that her best friend was going to be trans now when i say trans i don't mean transgender as in uh you know the actual specifics that go alongside with that most likely a trans trender just like the vast majority of people on Twitter, who claim to be in that category. Again, posers. Three years' time, they'll be married with fucking kids, the vast majority of them. The ones that I feel particularly sorry for are the ones that have been groomed, yes, that word, by people to such a, a degree of body dysmorphia that they are now mutilating themselves. evil evil so let's get into this from bounding into comics act uh back uh, back girl actor ivory 
Aquino defends cancel DC film. And now I'm going to read a sentence that is going to explain exactly why it did get shelved, most likely. <clears throat> Quote, As much as it has been labeled woke, it simply came together that way because of writing that reflects the world we live in. Uh, Ivory, I guarantee you, I don't live anywhere close to the world that you think you're on. Neither for miles, maybe hundreds of miles around. No, the world that you probably live in is either A, California, that's not a world, by the way, or B, Twitter, one or the other. But you certainly do not reflect the world we live in today by any stretch of the imagination, as much as you'd want it to be. Now, let's have a look at a couple of absolutely god-awful, pathetic comics uh, here. Uh, prior to the cancellation, the trans uh Aquino was set to portray uh, the best friend of Batgirl, Alicia Yeo. This is Alicia in a stolen costume. This, is, uh, this looks very much like Orphan's costume. Cassandra Kane, another great character, by the way. Cassandra Kane that got absolutely mutilated in Birds of Prey. Because why actually have uh, an unbelievably well-trained martial artist to the to the level of Batman, maybe, maybe even slightly better? To that level, who has a very complex history with her father, and being a mute and unable to speak for the now now she can but she was a mute when she first came along why have something as complex as that that gets thrown and given the mantle of the of bat girl uh when you can just have a a dumpy asian because you know all asians are the same i guess for hollywood uh, a dumpy asian that just steals stuff in birds of prey absolutely pathetic anyway that's a rant about orphan's costume but look at this absolute i mean this this art is fucking garbage the coloring is dreadful but look at this look at this here you said it yourself if we don't get we don't get to quit at least take a utility belt some batarang something you need to have a weapon look at this a bat with a trans flag on for fuck's sake please I'm a trans woman in Gotham. Of course I have a weapon. Gail Simone, ladies and gentlemen. I would clap, but when it comes to giving praise to Gail Simone, and obviously this praise is, you know, mockery. Just... <sighs> One of the uh, women, by the way, who... Uh happily destroyed the comic book industry and then she's uh hey thanks for letting me wear your clothes uh no that's orphans dipshit anyway let's read just a couple of these tweets from her because they you know <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest the craziness comes through them you, you you'll be able to see yourself dear mr zaslav i just read an article about supposed funeral screenings of Batgirl and the possibility afterwards of the film footage being destroyed. If this is the case, as one of the many who poured our heart into making this it's a Batgirl movie for HBO, don't you? You're not making Citizen Kane here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ask that this measure be reconsidered. No. As much as I've tried my best to be strong these past few weeks, I find myself crying, for lack of a better term, from grief. No, woe is me, for I am undone. And tonight was one of those nights, as much as Batgirl has been labelled a woke film, it simply came together that way, confirming that it's woke, because of writing that reflects the world we live in, which it does not. 
And this is, again, I, I know I've already spoken slightly about this, but let me just go into it uh, from a different angle, ladies. Uh, again, this is it. Your echo chamber, your little bubble you think is the world, and it's not. And so when you get blowback to things like race changing, sex changing, etc. When you get blowback to mutilation of children, uh, when you get blowback to these things, you can't comprehend why. Because your arrogance and your hubris believes that you are the be-all and end-all of society. And to be quite honest with you, you are the fucking dregs of it. You are the disgusting dregs of society. Hollywood, full of murderers and rapists and groomers and all kinds of thieves and manipulate everything. Probably one of the most vile places that you can possibly get in its own world, in its own bubble, blowing smoke up its ass. And wondering... Why don't the plebeians just get in line? <clears throat> don't you know who I am? I'm Hollywood, baby. So no, it doesn't even come close to reflecting the world we live in. We've had gas prices, petrol prices for us in the UK, obviously, soaring. And what do we get from the celebrities of Hollywood? Well, who cares if you... We have to pay slightly more. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, easy for you to do. But what about a family, a, a husband, a wife, three children, a mortgage, car payments, insurances, making not the best of monies, trying to get by? Oh, they've just got to suck it up, buttercup, because some privileged fucking multi-millionaire who pretends for a living goes, well, it's not the worst thing that, you know, gas prices have gone up 400%. <laughs> Remember when Arnie, beloved Arnie, one of our heroes, turned around and said, screw your freedom. That's, that's how they think. Get in line. So no, you don't come close to reflecting the world we live in the dregs of society, degenerate scum that Hollywood is. No, you don't. For me, more than anything, it is my father-daughter story which hits close to home as my dad passed away a few years ago. That's very sad. And I'm not, certainly not going to make light of it because I come from a single parent family, but mine was due to abuse. So I understand. But this isn't about you. This is about the audience. This isn't your film. This isn't your story. This is meant to be entertainment and escapism for the masses. And if there are storylines in there which match and marry together with certain aspects of your life, so be it. Channel that into your performance. And maybe you'll get some sort of closure or some sort of cathartic release from it. But this isn't yours. So me, me, me because your film got cancelled. Sorry. That's a suck it up buttercup moment. And I was hoping it would resonate with other children around the world grown and not so grown, who hold these fathers in the highest esteem and who could see Batgirl as a story of that special bond. Yeah, uh, I'm just kind of going to go with uh, probably won't turn out that way. I found myself not being able to talk about this ordeal with anyone. I realized that no one apart from those involved with the film would truly understand what we've, we're feeling. And talking about it with my castmates i feel might be akin to rubbing salt on an open wound my heart goes out to leslie grace and our beloved directors and entire cast and crew who spent months dedicating all of this some films do get cancelled some films do get put on the shelf that's just that leslie checked in on me the other day and we found out of the shelving uh and only had words of comfort and support good for you 
Are you dead? You know, I didn't imagine that Leslie would call you up to go, ha ha, go fuck yourself. But you got cancelled too, so go fuck yourself. Ah! I've dare not ask since uh, if she spent uh, nights holding back tears like I have because she had to be the face of Batgirl family and has had to put it on a, a brave face in the way of dealing and caring with the way blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, me, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay, wonderful. Oh, woe is me for I am undone. But the thing is, you summed it up very specifically and very succinctly with one sentence. As much as it has been labelled woke, it seem simply came together that way, as in woke, uh, because of writing that reflects uh, the world that I live in and nobody, you know, 99.9% .9 of the other uh, planet doesn't. Uh, oh, well. So sad. Oh, well. Or oh, well, so sad, whichever way it goes. Uh, there we go. That's uh, a pretty good reason why Batgirl was uh, shelved by Daisy David Zaslav. Uh, Warner Brothers has spent 90 million on a piece of fucking shit. See you in the next video. Bye for now.